On today's show, we review the Smith & Wesson MMP Shield from the Performance Center. Welcome to Gear and Gun Reviews. When we first heard about the Performance Center Shield, we were kind of surprised. Why would you put a carry gun this small through the Performance Center? And then we got a hold of one, and we realized exactly why the Performance Center would do something. Everything from the ported barrel to the trigger to the high-vis sights have all been thought out to make a much better carry gun. And it's funny, people said, well, it's ported and it's only a three inch barrel and it's crazy small. Yeah, but you know what? It works. The trigger on this thing, guys, feels awesome. The reset, the brake, everything is really crisp. A big, big step up from the original shield. And we did some testing and found that the trigger right out of the box, no rounds fired, was hovering around six to six and a half pounds, which is perfect for us. We love that weight in a carry gun. And the other nice thing was it was consistent every single time. It would stay between six and six and a half. Can't really ask much more than that. When we pulled the gun apart, we actually inspected some of the trigger components and they looked really well done. Like it would come from the performance center. The barrel porting was really thought out, wasn't overtly big and wasn't really a compensator. The sights are really bright. I love that they went to the high vis sight because that's one of the very first things I change on any of my carry guns is going from the stock sights to high vis or fiber optic sights. Even though they change a lot, the one thing they didn't change which we're really happy about are the ergonomics of the gun. What's up guys, it's Kevin with Gear and Gun Review. As you saw before, we kind of touched on the differences between the Performance Center Shield and the Standard Shield, which would be the sights, the ported barrel, and the trigger. Now you did see on the triggers about six pounds, and for me, that's perfect. Especially for a carry gun this small, something I can dump into a pocket, uh, or even carry appendix style, that sort of thing. Um, I've never been a big fan of really light triggers in um, my carry guns. I do like around six pounds for the carry gun. Now this fits really well. If you've ever fired a shield before, it fits exactly the same way. They didn't change the ergonomics on it, which I'm really happy about. It's more on the actual shooting of the gun. Now, even though this is a six pound trigger, it does feel really comfortable. It actually feels a lot lighter than six pounds because of the brake on this. It's a big step up from the standard shield. Um, the sights are nice and bright, especially out here in a nice, you know, bright day. They're really, really bright. You can pick them up really fast uh, and you can keep on that front sight very well. Um, the porting, I really like, and you'll see up here soon, um, the porting keeps that muzzle really flat and getting back on the target is even faster than the standard shield, especially with a shorter barrel. Um, with a shorter barrel, you do get kind of a muzzle flip. With the standard shield, with the ported barrel, it's a lot different. Now let's talk about the porting. I was kind of hesitant on a short gun, but it really does work. As you can see in the slow-mo footage, it does lift a little bit, but it does come right back. And that's a combination of both the porting and the better spring in there so you don't get that over push when the slide runs forward. This gun is really comfortable to shoot. I know I've said it a couple times, but it really is. It feels like the original shield, just better. You can see here in the side view that this does work really well. It's a little bit of muzzle flip, but you would think on a short bail it would flip a lot harder. So you've seen how this thing performs. It performs really, really well. We're absolutely in love with this. I'm actually gonna buy one of these as soon as we get back to the shop. Um, the porting on this is really, really comfortable. It keeps the muzzle really, really down um, compared to its predecessor, the standard shield. The trigger feels good. The sights are really nice and bright. Uh, overall, I think Smith & Wesson did an amazing job with this gun. Um, if you guys need more information, click below on the bottom. I'm gonna link you directly to the Smith & Wesson Performance Center's website on this gun. Um, and if you guys have any questions, please leave them in the comments and please guys subscribe. That's what keeps us alive. This is Kevin from Gear and Gun. Have a great day.